name is Tamye. I'm a Guyana here in KZN, South Africa. Welcome to my um, presentation today, the, the 7th of May 2016. Good morning. How are you doing today? Fine. All right, it's good to see you today. And uh, welcome to yet another, another presentation we're having. Uh, we want to talk about the ideology of MMM because it is the core of this community. What runs this community is the idea or the ideology, like we normally say, that runs it. So um, it talks about, uh, I'll just go through it, the ideology of MMM. The ideology of MMM is to destroy the unfair financial system in the world thereby making financial relations among its participants fairer. All right, so what this means is the system of the world, the financial system of the world, is not okay, it is not fair. And what MMM is here to do is to destroy, not to bend it, not to, to break it, but to destroy it, to bring an end to it, so its participants can live a fairer financial life or finance, uh, be in a fairer financial system, you know, it is very important for us to always have that at the back of our minds. MMM is not here for us to to, 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 to have our own um, agendas run, but it is here because of this ideology which we have to follow, you know. Um, and then, uh, having said that, I want to quickly run through some of the um, terminologies we use in MMM. Like, uh, for example, first here we have the PH, which means provide help. And uh, providing help means donating into the, into, the, into the community. And secondly, here we have GH, which means get help. And that is to withdraw, you know, receive financial help from the community. PO means personal or private MMM online office. When you log into MMM, when you log into the website, you find that um, um, page you meet there, it's called PO, or the personal or private MMM online office. DL means downline. Um, when we recruit people, well, they are called uh, downline, those that are under us. And then UL means Upline, your referrer, your guider, or your guider's guider. Anyone that is above you is referred to as your uh, upline, whether a guider, you know, it's a, it's a general um, terminology for anyone that is above you in the system or in the community. PMT means payment, EFT means electronic funds transfer. We don't need to explain this one. Uh, POP means proof of payment. You know, the proof that you need to upload on your PO for, your, for the other participants to acknowledge is POP, which is proof of payment. DD, direct deposit. All right. And then here we're talking about the CRO, control and revision officers. MMM policing body who monitors MMM system and participants to ensure rules are being adhered to and participation is fair and respectful. These guys are like police of MMM like we know and uh, what these guys do is to make sure that uh, things are run perfectly and in order. These guys are responsible for ensuring that the system is is run in, it's been run in a fair way because they don't they, they, these guys don't joke really they just as a matter of fact let's just see them as the police of MMM like we saw before and quickly we go to moratorium when your account has been frozen by the system you are under moratorium and uh, the first sign is that you cannot GH or PH you cannot get any allocations, even if you go into PHN or GHN, no one will be allocated to you because you are 
been frozen. You are, your system is being frozen. You know, and uh, being frozen doesn't mean being uh, uh, what's the other one uh, when, when when they say it's blocked. It's not being blocked. Frozen means a different uh, thing altogether. And when you're frozen, basically this is what you what you experience. You cannot change your page. Unlike when you're blocked, when you cannot even access your PO properly. Um, you need to verify yourself when this happens. You need to create a support ticket, submit ID copy and a copy of your bank card, and bank verification letter, which states your full name, ID, bank card, and bank account number. And all your social media links, example, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Skype, and all that. You need to have this information submitted to them for them to be able to uh, verify who you are and then obviously um, unfreeze your account. And then we want to talk about how to become a guider. You're a guider now, right? No. Not yet. Not yet. Oh. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh -huh. I thought you were a guider, yeah, right? I will be. So okay. Yeah. Uh, basically, all what you need are uh, here. All right. All right. You need your laptop, obviously with the camera and the microphone installed and uh, you need a Gmail account. You also need to have registered at least five people and your Skype address. Okay. You know, you need your uh, these basic information to, to, to get into it. And when you're in it, these are your benefits, all right? 5% bonus, 3% bonus, 1% bonus, 0.5% bonus, 0.3% bonus, 0.1% bonus, it goes down and down and down and down and down. This is good because, for example, you have a 1K guider. That 1K, 1,000 people under, under you. You are getting 5% of the, the, the system, 3%, 1%. You know, it's really rewarding. And that's where, you know, we, 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 we wish to, to be one day where we can, you know, boldly, you know, enjoy the, the system you know that MMM has given to us. You know. So it's very important for us to be guidance because MMM is more or less like a situation where we need to spread. We need to get people recruited and in doing this you get so much benefits. For me personally this is enough motivation, the guidance the bonuses. Know, in terms of benefits. And then we'll talk about an introduction to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a form of uh, online uh, currency known as cryptocurrency and uh, it is a digital currency basically which we use to do whatever we want to do just as we can use the hard currency for, like example the rent. You can use your Bitcoin to buy a house, you can use your Bitcoin to buy um, your groceries, you, you can swipe wherever, buy petrol for your car, anything you want to do, just as you use your real, your hard cash to do it, you can use your Bitcoin to do it. You know, uh, So basically, that's what Bitcoin is about. It's, it's, uh, it is an online currency. And let's talk about the characteristics now. It is decentralized, all right? Um, it is not like the, for example, the, 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 the Central uh, Reserve Bank of South Africa where we have one system in terms of um, when, 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 when you hear about inflation and all that, like uh, I, my guy that was talking about it the other day, you know, she explained how inflation works. Inflation works because there's a central body, you know, uh, controlling the, 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 the economy. Or, but on this, in this case, it's decentralized. There's no central body that is in charge or running or deciding what to do with with this with this uh, currency. You know, and then let's go to the next. It's easy to set up, unlike the. You know, conventional banks where you have to jump through hoops 
simply to open a bank account. It is an easy way for you to go. You go online and you have your thing set up in two minutes or less. You know, it's anonymous. You don't have to be known, you know. And then number four says it is completely transparent. You know, you can go to the site, blockchain, and when you go there, you can see every Bitcoin transaction. You can even verify your Bitcoin transaction, you know, easily without being, uh, without asking too much of questions. It's just there waiting for you, you know. Um, the transactions are very, the charges are very little, you know. You don't spend so much, excuse me, you don't spend so much, <coughs> excuse me, you don't spend so much money trying to, to, to run a transaction unlike, for example, you want to make a withdrawal with an ATM. There's a bank check that follows it. You know, with this system, you can do so much. Where, where I was having a discussion with my, with my guide yesterday when, when she was telling me more about uh, transactions with, the bit, with, with, with Bitcoin, where you can do so much and then you spend so little. So it's really, it's really cool. And then number six says it's it's very fast. You know, you can send money anywhere, and it will arrive in it will arrive minutes later. As soon as the Bitcoin network processes the payment, you know, they just quickly, and you have the thing done. And then number seven says it is non-reputable, and that is where we have to be careful because. It is not really, this is not so much of an advantage if you're using the Bitcoin. When you send your money, they say it's, they are gone forever. You know, once it's gone, it's gone. You can't re, you know, uh, retrace your, your transaction. Yeah. And then we, we, we need to talk about how to store Bitcoins. Bitcoin wallets are stored in coin address and spend your funds. Basically, you have your wallet, and uh, oh, okay, I think there is a picture there that shows the Bitcoin wallet. Well, it's fine. Oh, my uh, you, uh, maybe later I can show you the, 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 the pictures of, or an example of a Bitcoin. Do you have a Bitcoin account? Oh, okay, you need to open a Bitcoin account. Yeah, sure. right. it, is, it is very, very, very easy to, to open, it's easy to use, and you can. You can either buy or sell Bitcoin. You can use it just the way you're using your have, have, have currency. Yeah. And uh, basically, that's where I would stop from.